All right, guys, I got a 2008 Honda Civic base model. This car has drum brakes in the back. This is a Honda Civic. All right. It's making a really loud noise in the back. As the car takes off, you hear like a hummingbird in the back of the car. So usually that's a bearings, but this car, look at it. Bang, bang, man. Look at the play in this bad boy. And look at that. It's in terrible condition. Terrible, terrible condition. The bearing is bad, all right? So in today's video, we're gonna replace this bearing. All right, so the bearing, it, it has one, two, three, four bolts, and there's an ABS sensor. Be careful with the ABS sensor. You do not wanna damage it, all right? So we do need to take off the drum, and it's probably stuck in the, in the hub here, but we might have to bang it out a little bit. But sometimes with the drum brakes, it gets a little difficult because the drums are jammed up. But it, hopefully in my case, I don't know, man. Usually, let me show you on one of these discs. Since this is a drum brakes in the back, this gets like a lip here. And the shoe does not want to release. You can lose the tension, but hopefully I get it out without doing going crazy, all right? So let me take a crack at this. We're going to do it together. I'm going to have to tie it off, and then we're going to start taking things apart. All right, guys. Got another joke for you guys, and the price is... Let's see if the Honda sign lands straight. Whoops. <laughs> there you go. I think it's upside down, but it's all good. Time for us to take this little guy off. One. Two. Three, four. Oh, and everything falls apart. And the price is right. All right, guys. Oh, we're in luck today, guys. All right, so if your drum doesn't come out, you might have to bang it a little bit. Sometimes it's corroded all over here. You could put like a number 12 bolt here that fits it and tighten these two and it should pull off. But however, if your little guys are jammed up in there, don't even tempt it, all right? You, you will damage things, all right? But anyways, this is what we got so far, guys. And what we're gonna do next is, this has four bolts in the back, all right? So, I'm gonna go back here to the back. Let me grab my camera. And the light. Let me remove this out of the way. So right back here, we have the four bolts, all right? So all we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the four bolts, all right? And do not remove the ABS sensor because the ABS sensor sits all in the back. This little hanger here, this, mat, this piece right here, take off this clip, this little clip in the back to remove this ABS sensor out of the way, all right? When you take off, there's a 12 back over here, take that off so this little bracket here, this metal bracket can go out of the way, all right? So we're gonna do all that together. All right guys, so I got a couple of tools. So first of all, I'm gonna remove this little guy right here using this pick, all right? Because I do not want to damage that ABS sensor. So let's get the ABS sensor out of the way. So you only gotta push on the edges and this guy will go out, all right? All right, after that, I'm gonna try to first remove this number 12 right here. All right, that's gonna give me a lot of space. So number 12, am I tightening it or loosening it? I'm tightening it, all right? Going the wrong way. How dare me do things like that. All right, so there you go. It's loose, once it's loose, you probably couldn't take it off by hand or there you go.
I still don't want to come out. Come on, come out wherever you are. It's playing hide and seek with me. All right, there you go, it's loose. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this little guy. I like to leave the easiest bolt. This is the easiest bolt I lose in there, but I'm gonna leave it behind. So that's gonna be the last one I'm gonna take off because it's gonna hold everything in position for me, all right? So if you guys got a Honda Civic, four door or two door, and it has drum brakes in the back, so you need to do the bearing, it's gonna be the same procedure, guys. All right, so there's four bolts to this bearing. Got that one loose. Let me see if I can get it out. Oh, still don't want to come out. Let me put the socket on. All right, guys. So there's one more, which is located right over here. That's why we needed this bracket out of the way a little bit. That's one of the reasons why we needed that bracket because there's one bolt right here, but on the opposite side. All right, so there's another bolt. So far, these are the same size, so the bottom two are the same size. You do want to keep an eye on if your bolts are the same size or not, all right? Come on, you can fall on me. Again, using a 14 millimeter, all right? Just be careful with this ABS sensor, all right? Don't even try to take off that ABS sensor. It might come out, it might not come out, it might be seized in there. But like I said, the ABS sensor is sitting behind it. So the hub battery can come out and the ABS can just stay behind, all right? So we don't need to bother with that ABS sensor. All right, here comes this bolt. My socket fell, so same size. Where's my socket? Right here. All right guys, so like I said, this is the last one. I like to leave it behind. Save it for last. And here it comes. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. All four are out. This hub bearing should be able to come out after a few bangs. So let me see if I can bang this guy out of there. Let me set up my light first. All right guys, so I got a hammer. Be careful with the braking systems because all you want to do is you want to hit them, all right? This whole assembly is gonna try to fall out. So do put your hand on it. You see that everything is loose, all right? The hub bearing is stuck to this metal plate. That's what makes it difficult for these drum brakes. Uh, if it was a disc brake, it would have been much, much easier, all right? But that wasn't bad. <laughs> there you go. This is the bearing. That was bad. It does have an O-ring in the back, so pay attention to that, all right? That keeps all the dirt, debris, salt water from going in there, right? So this is very light. Let it sit gently on the brake, brake line, so do not try to damage anything, all right? So while I'm waiting for new bearing, I am gonna clean the hub right there. So do clean the hub assembly in the back, all right? Cause you don't want that dirt and debris in there, all right? A little bit of grease would help. So once I'm done with that, I will show you guys, but right now, I'm not gonna record any further till I get another new bearing, all right? But meanwhile, the camera's off, I'm gonna clean all that housing. All right, guys, I did clean it, and I did put a loop back there. All right, got my bearing. Here's the part number on it, if you can see it right there. The box gotta go. All right, inside the box, you're gonna get this little bad boy. And it's gonna come with a little O-ring, which goes right there, all right? Make sure you put this on, you forget this. You're gonna be doing it again very soon, probably. All right, so the bearing, uh, it's gonna go in, you see the flat surface right here? It's gonna be up on the top, all right? It really doesn't matter, but you put your bearing in there. Just, oh, another thing, you see the ABS sensor all the way back there, that black little thing in the right side? That's the ABS sensor in there, right? Make sure your dirt and debris is really out, guys, because if it's not out, you're gonna have pulsation probably, and the brake is not gonna be properly, all right? And this bearing should sit in there perfectly, all right? Once you get it in there, all you need to do is put the bolt right from the back, 
if you can get manage to do one that should hold it for you all right let me see if i could get one in there i can't even get one in there there you go all right let me lock it up and there you go it grabbed onto it i can see it oh it didn't it's playing games with me Just don't try to tighten it with a wrench or ratchet or anything like that because you don't want to damage those threads. There you go. It's in there, guys. So I'm going to take this camera and everything in the back side of it. So on the other side, so we can see the back end. Just a reverse procedure, putting everything back together. Put the drum on. You could clean and adjust the brakes. It's all up to you. All right, guys. I'm back of this little bearing hub assembly. There goes one of my bolts. I'll pick it up. So... Since we took off the hard one last, it would be a good idea to put that one in first, all right? Because that's going to hold everything for you, even though I did the other side, but my camera was sitting on this side. But try to get this one first if you can, all right? Because it's going to be the easiest bolt, because it's right there looking at you, all right? And after that, it will just hold everything together. So, put all these in. Let me pick up the bolt that I dropped. I dropped one back here. It goes in the back, below, on the other end, all right? A lot of people, they tighten these to the best ability, but I do torque my stuff. I do take time, and I do not do it in front of the camera because I need all the clearance and space, all right? So to tighten these, Make sure you tighten this evenly, guys. Just don't tighten the heck out of one, and the other one is not, it's still all the rest of them are still loose because it's gonna make it uneven for the spindle to sit in the housing, all right? Because it's gonna force one side in, all right? So do them all, snug them all in, all right? Equally. And after that, you can tighten it, torque it, however you feel comfortable. All right, I would suggest you torque it. If you need torque specs, just send me a message, guys. But anyways, this little bad boy is already in there. All I need to do is tighten these. Got that one. Let me get the one in the bottom. You can even get them all the way in there by hand, just like that. And once they're tight, they can't do it by hand, but your ratchet on. There you go and there you go all right so I am gonna torque these guys and I'm gonna come right back all right guys everything is tight all I need to do is put this little guy don't forget the number 12 that holds this bracket down the bracket does have a little little clip in the bottom that lines it right back here behind this line there's like a little spot where it, it hits into all right and this is what you're gonna have to play around with to get this guy to sit properly all right so I'm gonna have to move my camera so I can get in there all right so I had to yank this clip this bracket to get the bolt in there because it wasn't going in there properly all right so next step is for me to tighten that bolt all right this bolt you can gently tighten it with your hands all right if you want to torque that also it's up to you but i like to tighten bolts like these you can just tighten them normally all right and there you go a little bit more and that's it all right don't forget this little clip for abs sensor because if you forget you will damage it all right so there we have it guys take your drum put the drum in guys 
easily, fairly. The drum should go in since they came out easy. All right. There you go, put the tire on. No noise. Bada bing, bada boom, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like all of my videos. And we'll see you on the next one. If you guys have any questions, let me know. If you have leaks on your shocks, change the shocks. All right, bye-bye.